Hello, and welcome back to the Oracle Scroll. This is episode two of Can We Talk? Hi there, Kevin Walder here, your host for the Oracle Scroll. And this is the second episode of Can We Talk? Well, I'm just looking for input from people around the community, around our area, around, oh, globally, actually. I'll take in suggestions from anywhere as to how do we proceed. Now, I'm going to give you a little synopsis here of where we've been. Um... As I mentioned in the last episode, there have been so many people that I have felt, at least, did not represent the truth about our situation. Um, we cannot bully each other into doing what we want, even if that means we're going to lose finances or other prestige in the process. We have to respect those who have limitations and are willing to respect those limitations. We have to respect them as well. So telling someone that their vibe is low is why they're feeling fear, or telling someone that uh, you have no fear because your vibe is high and you're able to ward off anything that comes your way. This is not normal. This is not something we've encountered before. So we have to adjust the way we think. And boy, is that proving to be a very difficult thing for many of us to do. Now, I am not here to tell you that I have discovered the way to think. I am not here to tell you that I have all the answers. In fact, I'm lucky if I've got a good question. I have no answers for any of us right now. But I am asking and I'm begging and pleading with my peers to consider what we might be doing to ourselves and how we might be able to improve our lot without uh, upsetting the apple cart, so to speak. So this is where I'm starting from. I'm not here to try to... Uh, be somewhat, uh, you know, self-righteous, I guess, if that's the best term. That is not my goal. My goal genuinely is to start a conversation. What is it that we can, what are some solid building blocks that we can begin using now to rebuild our lives as we evolve out of this situation? Now, as things become more clear to many people in uh, circles of learning and uh, management and so forth, um, the outlook may, may be even more bleak than we had be believed at first. Well, in fact, it already is, but may be even more bleak than we're allowing ourselves to believe now. Um, how would we fare if we had no safety nets? How would we fare if we had no police, we had no, we just had no uh, protection from the elements or people that were less than scrupulous? Hmm. Well, we haven't had a lot of protection from that over the years, but what if it was completely removed? Hollywood has dealt with this subject variously in many different, many different forms. Um, several different movies pop to mind as to post-apocalyptic uh, world. Um, here we are with all these technical gadgets and things that uh, make life so easy for us that some of us, well, most of us have forgotten the skills of uh, just survival. So, how do we approach that? And how do we encourage others to approach that uh, without making them feel like it is somehow their fault? 
what we're enduring right now and what is happening around us, uh, what is happening with our employment, etc., is not our fault. This was came out of the blue. Largely, it came out of the blue because people were not willing to face the prospect that it might be as serious as it has become. But, be that as it may, that isn't our job. Our job isn't to assess blame and uh, try and convict those who have perhaps not been on the right side. That's not our job. Our job is, how are we going to survive? What are we going to do? And how are we going to implement the skills and the scheduling that is going to bring it all to, to bear? That is the big question for us, and that's what I'm hoping this series can do, is get us all to think about where we want to be and what we might bring to the table. We have a lot of people who are skilled in the kitchen. <laughs> I happen to live with one, um, unfortunately. <clears throat> but uh, yes, we, we are very fortunate to have that kind of uh, knowledge and practical knowledge in our in our midst so we're able to we're able to devise things a lot of times that maybe we wouldn't even have thought of you know ourselves but because of the experience and the research and all the things that have gone into uh, making food over the years we're able to produce things that are actually appetizing with very very little and very simple ingredients that's one thing um, perhaps we have a particular artistic skill that would also become a building skill that we can use to survive, to build some uh, shelter for ourselves. Um, who knows what this, what this earth will look like when all of this shakes out. And unfortunately, I said, I kept saying there was going to be September before we knew anything about what was going on. Sorry, folks, that was a little optimistic. We don't know what to expect. We don't know when to expect it. We, we're just blind. And so that's one thing we need to, that's how we need to heal ourselves is get over that blindness, that blind spot that doesn't allow us to see what's really going on. So once again, I invite you to please join me and uh, let's engage in this conversation. Let's actually connect and make some headway on what it is we really need to see and how do we need to see it? What will, when will we know it's being manifest in our lives? And those are the things that I hope to, I hope to talk about. And uh, yes, we're all looking for hopeful advice. We're all looking for the bright and shining star at the end. That would be wonderful. But right now, we haven't got it in sight. And that is what we need to work on. Come join me. Let's have that conversation. Let's put this medium to work the way it was intended to work. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.